Hi, welcome to Med School Coach. My name is Andrew, and today we're going to go very quickly through a high yield topic of Pempagus vulgaris versus Volus pempagoides. First, let's look at uh, the schematic of where the autoantibodies are targeting. So, in Pempagus vulgaris, the autoantibodies are going to be against the desmosomes, and these are going to be in between the cells. On the other hand, in Volus pempagoid, the target is going to be the hemidesmosomes, which are going to be in the intradermal, uh, epidermal dermal junction. A good way to remember this is going to be that bolus sounds a lot like below, so the target is going to be below the cell. Another useful uh, mnemonic is to know that hemidesmosomes, uh, the root hemi means half, which means the symptoms are always half as bad as uh, the target if, if the target were desmosomes. So we talked a little bit about the antibody already. So the antibody for pemphigus vulgaris is desmoglein, which is a part of the desmosome. In contrast, the bolus pemphigoid target is hemidesmosome. And considering which one is worse, uh, the pemphigus vulgaris is almost always worse in terms of all of this, uh, the rest of this chart. So the bulla are gonna be flaccid. The reason why this is worse is because uh, they're more easily shearable, which goes hand in hand with the Nikolsky sign. So they'll have a positive Nikolsky sign. Uh, in terms of the immunofluorescence, where you're gonna see is a reticular or net-like pattern around the cells. Recall that the, uh, the desmosomes are surrounding the cells and not on the basal surface of the cell. Uh, this is on, in contrast with the linear distribution in the, pemphigus, uh, in the bolus pemphigoid, excuse me. So these are pictures of uh, pemphigus vulgaris on the left, and this one's bolus pemphigoid on the right. Uh, what you see is a reticular pattern on the left and a linear pattern on the right. You see this on your step one, you'll know what it is just because of these slides. Uh, in terms of oral involvement, Oral involvement typically denotes something more serious, so you'll see this in Pemphigus vulgaris and not in Bolus pemphigoid. In terms of the age, you'll have a little bit of a younger distribution in Pemphigus vulgaris versus uh, uh, Bolus pemphigoid. You're going to have a 30 to 60 year old uh, majority of people who develop this, um, in contrast to someone a little bit older in, in Bolus pemphigoid. And lastly, whichever one is which one is life threatening? Well, we talked about how Pemphigus vulgaris is more serious, so you're going to end up with. Uh, Yes here and no under bolus pemphigoid. So thank you for watching. For more information about our tutoring programs, please email info at medschoolcoach.com.